This is Robert Picardo, and you're watching The Planetary Post. See, Bob, I told you you'd be better at the intro than I would be. I guess you're right. You, you, have, a, you have a gift. I have a gift. <laughs> My guest, of course, is Bill Nye our CEO and fearless leader at the Planetary Society. Bill was my guest on the very first Planetary Post. Oh, those were the days, oh, Over two years ago. I'm happy that you are watching again and watching now because today we're gonna to talk about the subject, space advocacy, why bother? That's a good title. <laughs> space advocacy, how do we do that and does it really work? Once oh man, it? does it work. So. Congressmen and senators here in the U.S. work for you. They do what we tell them because they, they want have, to get reelected. Yeah, well, they want to get reelected. So when they hear from their constituents, even constituents that are not in the United States, people who live overseas who realize that NASA is the world's largest space administration, so influencing NASA is of great value, they do what people ask them to do. So just for example, we just got these spectacular images down from Ultima Thule. This is a snowman barbell shaped object way out past the orbit of Pluto. These images will give us more information about the solar system, its origin, and where ultimately you and I came from. That picture is possible because the Planetary Society went to Barbara Mikulski's office. She was the senator from Maryland at that time. It takes letters and emails from people like you to get U.S. Congress to act. Planetary Post watchers saw me interview Alan Stern, the principal investigator the of PR. New Horizons. And, and Alan thanks the Planetary Society. When, when the budget was in trouble for the mission to, to move forward, he credits the Planetary Society as a major force in keeping their funding and getting it done. Many of the members of the New Horizons team are members of the Planetary Society because we believe in its mission. And we wouldn't have done New Horizons if it hadn't been for the support of the Planetary Society. And not just once, many times over many years, it made a difference. We could not have done this without Planetary Society. We now, at the Planetary Society, are very active in several missions that are, are being constructed, designed right now, the Europa Clipper. And we really, really want to bring samples back from the surface of Mars. This is not trivial. The samples are going to be collected by the 2020 rover, but there isn't exactly all the way finished, filled out a plan <laughs> to bring them back. And that's why advocacy matters. Yes! Okay, Bill, so I'm a concerned member of the public. I believe in space exploration. I want to support it. What do I do? How can I act to help? That's excellent, Robert. You can act by going to the ACT Shun Center, the Action Center at planetary.org. And there we'll have petitions, sample letters for you to send to your congressman and senator. We'll have ways for you to participate in the community. And we can work together to, dare I say it, Robert, change the world. <laughs>